hey what's up guys today in this video we are going to look at how we can use parameters inside our graphql query and also we will see how we can pass variables through this playground interface so that you can have some configurability inside your graphql query so to quickly recap what we had done in our previous video was we were making some queries to the product api and getting a list of products so if we quickly write that out so we have something similar although if you would have seen the previous video the link is in the description below or you can even go through the playlist we did a little more we understood how uh, some of the other items inside uh, some of the other fields rather inside this product was coming up but now we have around 54 items in this list now when it is about a demo this is still fine because we are loading all the products but in a real life application you won't be loading you know, all the products in one shot you will be listing them down in a set of you know, sequence a set of you know, limited number and then you will implement a pagination logic on your front end right so most of the time it it can be uh, in finite list so how do we do that because in this api we have the ability to send some arguments and that's how it is going to behave and that's what is something which we are trying to do in this video right so let's see if we go to the docs and go to products you can see you have product type details you know it's type product list it implements a paginated list so it has items which is an array of product which is mandatory and it has total items which is an integer but then can you see there is one more thing which is arguments options product list options so as i told you we have the ability to send arguments to our query so let's see what are the possibilities so as the type suggested it is product list options it has the option to skip certain number it's an int not mandatory i have the ability to define how many i want that's the tick if you are aware of mysql or any kind of a query language you will understand that this is somewhat equivalent to your limit right this is your the skip is kind of behaving as an offset this is your limit and then we have some control over the sorting because if you would have seen our sorting right now is one two three which means the oldest one on top and if you want we can change it let's see what options we have there so we have the ability to sort on these parameters id created at updated at name slug and description description being a little strange but fine but can you understand that now as a backend developer you have the ability to control what are the different parameters on which the front end can sort so if you and if you are able to understand that there are certain performance um restrictions if you give sorting on certain kinds of things or maybe you know you don't want the where conditions on certain certain things right you can add those kind of stuff in here you you are able to give quite a lot of control with some level of restrictions on your front end so let's start with the arguments and see how things come up so the first thing which i'm going to do is obviously oh not inside total items but inside products so it gives me the option so it's an object let me see what are the different keys which are available over here they will be something similar to this that's where we are right now so skip take sort let's just say skip for now is zero take is three if we run the query and let me 
close this out can you see i only have three items if i make it two i get one and two now as i said if we are implementing a pagination maybe the next page will be skip two so we have three and four so can you understand that immediately you have you know, the ability to control quite a few things over here right now let's just say as as mentioned this is oldest first uh, sorry yes oldest first and we want the newer items to be on top so why don't we do sort which is again an object let's see what are the different parameters there so a sort typically takes id created at or anything like that so why don't we do id descending okay how do i know that this is going to take an object so let's click on sort id sort can you see it says enum sort order so it's an object where i pass id and then the order okay so with this done let's see if we are able to get a different kind of a result and we do the first one now is modern cafe chair and the second one is bedside table if i make it ascending can you see one and two are coming but ideally this is what will be required right so yes we have been able to do certain kinds of things over here now let's just say we want to hmm, we want to filter the products based on the fact that you know it should only filter out products which are chairs okay now there are many ways of doing it uh, but because i want to show you the ability to filter inside this graphql query i'm taking this example so filter parameters what does it say i can filter on these items what if i want to filter on this so string operators okay i have equal to not equal to contains not contains ins and quite a few stuff so let's try that out this is my sword this is the object i can add a filter here filter on slug so the rationale behind this what i'm doing is i'm assuming that the slug which is a very close match to the title of the product will have the word chair and so i'm filtering all the items where the slug contains chair contains chair something like this and can you see let me do a take of 10 i have four products where you know something like chair is coming up if i do what maybe monitor i can see there are only two products okay so this is quite interesting because now we have been able to sort by a lot of things and we have control over quite a few items as well now in this in, in, a, in the scenario where you know you are sorting by maybe these a uh, word right you are searching by a word maybe it makes sense to sort by name and do this okay but then there's one more thing and i told you that we will be looking at that is variables now this thing over here is kind of hard coded right but what if you want to pass this as an argument how do we do that so let us come over here and do something like st name string okay and then over here pass that argument which is fine but then this is where we send that actual data okay it automatically detected that the variable which i'm expecting is name and these are some smarts which are available now let us try once more so we have chair 
we get that result if we do monitor we get two let's try and see how many mobiles we have mobile none laptop i know there's one laptop all right so as you are able to see right we have quite a few control when it comes to you know defining our query we have you know, the ability to pass parameters which will control what is the behavior of the select query there are a lot of things at least in this api which allows us to control what exactly we want and what sequence how many you know we can filter and quite a lot more things and we also see how the query variables will come into uh, picture if we want to have something dynamic inside our query so yeah that's about it guys that's how you know you have the ability to make your graphql query a lot more stronger ability to attach certain kinds of behaviors to what the data is expected along with you know query variables which allow you to get that dynamic part where you know things can change based on the parameter which you are sending now obviously these are all queries which we are firing inside the playground and yeah eventually we will be writing them on a react application to understand how things work but i think it is better that first we get certain things in place inside this you know playground and understand the basic how things work so that when we are doing react we are literally you know understanding how a query fires inside the react application and then stick this query in and just be done with it because we already understand the basics of the graphql queries which we have written so far so that's about it if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel